Arizona's family investigates update on a story we first broke last month. A police sergeant shot in the line of duty, then fired, loses his public safety pension, cutting off medical benefits, and the bills are adding up fast for his family. Well, tonight we are learning the police department that let him go. The Yavapai Apache Police Department is now taking steps to enroll its officers in the state public safety retirement fund. Our Morgan Lowe broke the story. So uh, the big question, does this mean the sergeant who will who was shot, will he be eligible for this uh, financial benefit for the pension? He is not eligible because they fired him before they took the steps to enroll the remaining officers in that state retirement pension. Now, this is the latest development in the situation surrounding Sergeant Preston Brogdon, who was shot and nearly died in the line of duty, then left to fend for himself. You are watching body cam video of the last police call Sergeant Preston Brogdon responded to. It was February 9th, 2022, less than a minute after arriving on scene. Brogdon was shot. He's the one on the ground. He managed to return fire and he survived. Here, get on, get on top of me. Put your weight on me. But he was seriously injured and can no longer work. Last month, we learned Brogdon had been wow. fired. What were you told was the reason they let you go? I literally was told um, it's been two years. Um, we have to let you go. And at least you have disability. Those were the exact words I was told. And even in the letter I got states, um, I was let go due to doctor's notes stating I cannot return back to um, my job as a patrol sergeant. At that time, the Yavapai Apache Police Department did not contribute to the state public safety retirement fund. So Brogdon was not entitled to the same benefits other officers received if they are shot in the line of duty and disabled. But now we've learned the tribal government is taking steps to enroll its remaining officers in the state pension. What's your reaction to that? I'm happy they did it. Um... Brogdon tells us it's good news for those officers, even though it doesn't help him. In 2022, when Brogdon was released from the hospital, the tribal police chief announced the department would take care of him. You no, know, we'll be there for you forever. Now we've learned that police chief was fired, along with two other officers, including Brogdon's sister, after they stood up for Brogdon to the tribal council. We also learned that the Yavapai Apache Nation looked into joining the state pension system last year. Instead of moving forward then, they fired Brogdon and now appear to be moving forward without him. What's the future look like for you and your family now? I don't know. Um, I have five kids. I have my wife. Um, you know, I have house payment. I have car payment. I'm just uh, I'm hoping I can pay for everything. I, I didn't do anything wrong besides putting my life on the line. I didn't do anything wrong besides doing my job, and I feel like I'm being punished for that. Well, I gotta get you lost. I gotta get you lost. Now, we reached out to the Yavapai Apache Attorney General and asked why the nation waited until after firing Brogdon to move forward with the state pension and why the other officers were fired. I received a two sentence response that they do not comment on matters involving current or former employees. Now, that is the same statement that I received when we broke the story last month. Is he considering any further legal action, perhaps, against the department? Because we know by your reporting that the chief at the time gave him a verbal public assurance that he'd be taken care of. He's keeping all options open, but this is you know, a sovereign tribe, and it is not easy to take them to court. Yeah, in the meantime, his medical bills pile up. He has somebody has to pay for his recovery and he's not getting any help. Morgan, thanks for following up on that.